Greetings everyone and welcome back. This is Power Pulse Innovator project, a simple and effective way to convert 12 volt battery power into a stable AC voltage. This unique innovator design utilizes the CD4047 IC to generate precise square wave pulses with powerful MOSFETs and a 12012 transformer to achieve an adequate AC output. The pulse power innovator enhanced heat management troubleshooting and update by separating the circuit into two primary sections for modularity the CD47 driver circuit and the MOSFET port. Also, check out this project page for more information on the build process. Now, let's get started with the build. We began this project by designing the PCB, which consisted of two primary sections for modularity the CD47 driver section with a CD47 IC potentiometer, a load resistance that generates square wave pulses adjustable by the potentiometer, typically set to 50 Hz or 60 Hz. These pulses then go to the MOSFET board, which includes a MOSFET, a transformer and capacitors. The MOSFET amplify the pulses, which the transformer then converts to a higher voltage AC output. Capacitor filter the output for a smooth AC waveform. This PCB also has two mounting holes, so the transformer can be securely attached with nuts and bolts to the circuit. Also, we have added a CON2 screw terminal, via which we will connect a 12V lithium battery pack to the circuit. We created two PCBs for this project, the CD47 driver and the MOSFET board. Two orders were placed, one for the CD47 driver and one for the MOSFET board. The CD47 driver board was ordered with black solder mask and white cell screen and the MOSFET board was ordered with yellow solder mask and white cell screen. After placing the order, the PCBs were received within a week and the PCB quality was pretty great. The PCB way commitment to quality and customer satisfaction has been unwavering, leading to significant growth and expansion. You guys can check out PCB way if you want great PCB service at an affordable rate and low price. We begin the MOSFET board assembly process by applying solder paste to each SMD component pad with a solder paste dispensing need. Next, we use ESD tweezer to select and position all the SMD component in their place. We lifted the PCB and place it on the SMT reflow hot plate, which heats the PCB from below until it reaches the solder paste melting temperature. As soon as the PCB reaches the solder paste melting temperature, the solder paste melt and all the components are attached to their pads. After soldering all the SMD components, we begin the TST assembly process, which begin by installation of all through hole components such as MOSFET, resistors, CON2 connector, etc. on driver board. Next, we flip the board over and solder all of the TST components pad with the soldering iron. Now we add transformer to the circuit, which we start by placing the transformer over the circuit and then use two M2.5 nuts and bolt to fasten it with the PCB. Next, we connect transformer AC wire to the AC side of the circuit, followed by the DC wires which are connected to the DC side of the circuit. The MOSFET board has been completely assembled. The CD47 driver assembly process begins by applying solder paste to the SMD components pad. Our driver board includes one SMD component, which is the 100 NF decoupling capacitor. We use a tweezer to pick our capacitor and place it on its pad. Next, we use our tiny reflow hot plate, which we got from PCB Waste Gift Shop, to solder the capacitor on the PCB by heating the solder paste up to its melting temperature. The through hole component which comprises of the CD47 IC itself and 82 ohms load resistor, a potentiometer and CON4 header pin connector are all added in their place and then solder from the bottom side of PCB using a soldering iron. Following the assembly process of both the MOSFET board and CD47 driver circuit, we pick the CD47 driver circuit and connect it on the MOSFET board by the both boards CON4 port. We have attached a female header connector to the MOSFET board and a male header connector to the CD47 board. Using these two connectors, we can join them together as they were a module. Because of this connector, we can later modify or switch the CD47 
for a microcontroller or a better circuit to improve the overall setup. We are using a 12 volt 5.2 AH lithium ion battery pack made up of 6 lithium cells coupled in 3S2P arrangement with a BMS or battery management system. When fully charged, this pack delivers an output of 12.6 volt. We begin the testing process by connecting the battery's VCC and ground terminal to the CON2 screw terminal connector installed on the circuit. Next, we connect a multimeter to transformer output terminal and set it to read AC voltage. By pressing the on-off push switch, our device gets on and we get a voltage measurement on our multimeter. We get 208 volt AC, which can be adjusted using the potentiometer to change the frequency of CD4047 IC. As for the light source that we will use next, we are utilizing this antique looking AC 9 watt bulb that resembles an antique filament bulb. But this one that I'm using has an LED string inside as well as a driver which is hidden inside this B22 holder. We are also utilizing a regular B22 holder to connect our bulb to the AC side of our inverter. The live and neutral wire from the inverter's AC side are linked to the screw terminals on the B22 holder. Here the finished result of this basic yet efficient build, a functioning power pulse inverter that is currently powering a 9 watt AC bulb using a 12 volt lithium ion battery pack. The inbuilt on and off switch allow us to easily turn on and off the device. This setup does not only exhibit the inverter's efficiency but its practical application in supplying a dependable AC source power from a DC supply. The main purpose of constructing this inverter circuit was to build a retro looking lantern for an upcoming project. I want to utilize an antique looking LED bulb that runs on AC. Therefore, the inverter project was created to power this AC bulb from a DC source. I will be providing all the specification regarding this upcoming lantern project shortly. So stay tuned for that. In addition, we appreciate PCBWay support of this project. Visit them for a variety of PCB related services such as stencil service, PCB assembly services as well as 3D printing services. Thanks for reaching this far and I'll be back with a new project pretty soon. Peace out.